This morning, we are privileged to welcome Lieutenant General Avidas Pochis, currently the Chief of Defense of the Lithuanian Armed Forces. General Pochis graduated from the United States Army War College in 2004. Today, we will induct him into the International Fellows Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as Major General Martin inducts General Pochis into the Hall of Fame. Attention to orders. The United States Army War College, Carlisle Barracks, Pennsylvania, in recognition of outstanding military achievement, hereby inducts into the United States Army War College International Fellows Hall of Fame, Lieutenant General Artivis Pochis, Chief of Defense, Armed Forces of Lithuania, a graduate of the United States Army War College Class of 2004, by order of Major General Greg F. Martin, dated 21 October 2001, or 11. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Major General Martin is now presenting General Pochis with a certificate of honor. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Mr. Commandant General, for nice words, for the introduction. And uh, let me express uh, my feelings. It's not easy to be back and to, to talk to such audience. Dear generals, officers, fellows, ladies and gentlemen, let me be uh, very brief at this touching ceremony. It's a huge honor for me to stand here on this occasion. The memories take me back to the year 2004. It was a very significant year for my homeland, Lithuania. The historical changes were made in the path of my country then. That year, Lithuania, as well as six uh, other countries, joined NATO, as it was mentioned before by Commandant. It was a goal of our country after regaining independence after 50 years of Soviet occupation. The fact that Lithuania joined the strongest alliance in the world have made a change in so many different fields, political and economical environment. It has affected the status of our military forces and life of every soldier and citizen. It was a really significant moment for me personally, since I was studying at U.S. Army War College at that moment, I was invited as a representative of the new member state to the ceremony that was held at the White House on the 29th of March, 2004. I would say these circumstances have made my studies really extraordinary. There is also another interesting detail in the story of my studies at War College. The fact is that I was the first officer of the Lithuanian Armed Forces to conduct studies at U.S. Army War College. The contemporary Chief of Defense of Lithuania was Major General John Kronkaitis, son of Lithuanian immigrants who escaped Lithuania after it had been occupied by the Soviets. He graduated from the college as a colonel of the United States Army War College in 1978. Before, uh, in the presentation, we have seen uh, that uh, one general uh, presented a flag as, for me as a commander of land forces. So this man was General Kronkaitis. I took almost three decades before another Lithuanian officer started his studies and graduated 
from this college. It makes me feel very glad that I have been given this chance. Let's go back to the study matters. Frankly speaking, it wasn't easy for me to come here and study. The initial part of the studies was especially hard. The main difficulty was the language barrier. English was already the fourth foreign language I had to learn, and as I have already mentioned, that wasn't easy. But because of a good atmosphere and understanding demonstrated by the seminar mates and my sponsors, I managed to make a breakthrough and uh, conduct the studies successfully. I really enjoyed my life here. But one more thing. Throughout the period of the studies, I had the feeling of being not only a student, but also a member of the course, a member of the community. These studies gave me an opportunity not only to gain, but also to share the experience and knowledge of the times of Soviet occupation, our fights for independence, and to represent my country and the Lithuanian military. I had a brilliant chance to travel around the states, visit military bases and headquarters, meet the people and see the country. I should say the most impressive visit was the one, the Pacific Command in Hawaii. <laughs> And I remember when I came back, I said for my wife, you know, if somewhere is in the world a paradise, this is in Hawaii. <laughs> I know that some of you, you are lucky. You got a lucky ticket. You will go to Hawaii to visit. <laughs> so enjoy your time there. I am glad because of my family members, my wife Namida, who stayed with me for the whole period of the studies, my son and daughter who visited us. I would really like to use the opportunity to thank the brilliant sponsors, Mrs. Rita Kavolis and Susan and Bill Tyson. Thank you very much, indeed. You are here. You dedicated your time for my family members, created the possibility for my family members to visit the States, and were a very warm company during the time of studies. Thank you very much indeed, once again. I would like to say uh, the knowledge which I have gained during the studies is extremely important and valuable. But there is also one more thing I have gained here. The friends, people who have become an valuable supplement to my life. I am still in contact with seminar nine mates and international fellows from different parts of the world that now are in very different positions. I have met some of them in various format meetings, conferences, multinational military operations in Iraq and Afghanistan, or during the tour of duty at the NATO HQ, ACT in Norfolk in Virginia. And I know that some of my seminar mates are here. They arrived, and thank you very much for, for coming and uh, for joining this ceremony. I would also like to wish all the best for the students of US Army War College. I would like to encourage you, dear officers, fellows, I would like to encourage you to seek the highest positions in the military forces of your countries. Dear officers, fellows, community members, professors, thank you for the support and knowledge to share, you shared with me during the period of the, my studies. I am really proud to be a graduate of a prestigious U.S. Army War College. Mr. Commandant, thank you for the invitation and the opportunity to come here once again
to be honored in this warm ceremony. And uh, I enjoyed very much to spend two hours uh, during the seminar, 13, uh, to discuss, to express my view like a student seven years ago. Thank you very much for this opportunity. And uh, thanks again. I wish you good luck. Be tough. I know that you are struggling now with some paperwork. <laughs> SRP, SRP, SRP is coming. Uh, so I am survivor. I know how it's tough, especially for foreigner students. So I wish you good luck. Be happy. Enjoy your time here. And uh, I hope to see you somewhere else in the world. All together, we are strong. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing as the playing of hands across the sea and the departure of the official party. <laughs>